I've been trying to do my best to keep the case of missing Summer Wells in the public eye, even though I believe that the only way that most of these current missing children's cases will ever be solved is when confessions are forced out of the parents who are responsible. However, have some channels gone too far now just for clicks? Let's break down the facts. Just when I thought that Candace Bly couldn't be any dumber, I see the latest story, which, if true, puts her into a new league of moron. However, when it comes to any case where the parties to a crime, as well as potential witnesses, are all white trash, the best policy is not to trust any of them. I certainly don't, but this doesn't mean that all other channels follow suit. I've read that people are making a big deal over this kid H's mother, Allie, telling one story about what took place at her house on June 15th, while Candace claims that what Ali said was all lies. So here's my question to police, even though my guess is that Ali didn't pass a polygraph, she passed on taking it. Is that about right, officers? If I was a neighbor whose house Candace went to on June 15th, and I saw Summer Wells sleeping in the car, and Candace told me that she had to get home to put the groceries away, of course I'd volunteer for a polygraph. After all, if that's what happened that day, I'd be telling the truth and would have no reason not to be polygraphed. From what I understand, Ali would not agree to be polygraphed and did not allow her minor son to say much to the police, and what little he did say wasn't truthful. Where is Chris M. on this? After all, he made a decision to cross the line as a retired police officer possibly jeopardizing the investigation by getting directly involved with potential suspects and witnesses in a missing child case. Chris talked to Allie, then H, and he also talked to Candace. However, unless I've missed it, what he didn't do was give his professional opinion as to who was telling the truth and who wasn't. For some reason, Chris's comments are turned off for his uploads, so I couldn't review his recent video debriefing this case to see if he gives an opinion other than Don is a scumbag. The social media sources featuring this alley creature accusing Candace of everything from physically abusing her children, especially Summer, to picking up random men and bringing them home. Are they putting anything out there just for views? Sorry, but looking at someone like Allie and seeing all that's gone into her mouth, I don't know that I'd believe a damn thing coming out of it. What about all the play being given to Candace recently messaging back and forth with a man she met online? As soon as I saw that this admirer claimed to be in North Carolina, just one state over from Tennessee, yet he didn't recognize Candace and Summer in her profile photo and somehow had not heard about the Summer Wells case, I smelled something fishy. In my next video, I'll discuss if it smelled catfishy or just plain old Candace fishy. Now I'd like to hear from you. If anyone watched Chris M's six-month recap video on this case, did he make any mention, given his personal involvement, of who he thinks is lying and what he thinks happened to Summer Wells? Or does he seem more concerned about running afoul of that troublemaker, Benny Keys, again? Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video, where we'll continue to break down the facts.